This video I'm gonna teach you how to install Optifine, how to fix any issues you might have along the way, and how to add changes and everything for Minecraft 1.21.3. Let's go ahead and get started with the tutorial. Now, the first step to install Optifine is to click the second link in the description, which is our guide on how to download and install Optifine. But if you don't want to read through the whole thing, you could just scroll down to step one, click download Optifine here. That is going to redirect you to the official Optifine page, where we're going to click on preview versions right below 1.21.3, and that is going to show us all the versions that are available for the 1.21.3 version. There's a chance, however, that whenever you come to this website, you already have a download button right here right below 1.21.3 which means you don't have to click on preview versions you could just hit download anyways right now as of right now because this was just released we have to download the preview version so we click show preview and then we download the most recent one we're gonna hit mirror to skip all the ads that is going to bring us right over here where we're going to hit download and now the download for optifine will begin right away so let's go ahead and drag and drop that file into our desktop once it finishes downloading and of course optifine is taking its sweet time to download so let me tell you about apex hosting if you need a minecraft server use the first link right now and get 25 percent off your first minecraft server with apex hosting you could create either a java or bedrock server or actually any mod loader that you want and this server supports over 200 mod packs that you can install with just a click of a button these servers are totally safe to play on and they're hosted online so you don't have to worry about port forwarding or using your computer to run a server also also these servers have locations all around the world so no matter where you are you could create a server that your friends could join without lagging so you have no excuse something i personally love about apex hosting though like being for reals is that you could actually create the server and then access the server console through your phone meaning that you could be away from the house and stuff and still be able to change the settings change the weather kick people out of your server op people whatever you want to do it is your server after all and you could do all of that through your phone i'm gonna leave that first link in the description for 25 percent off for you guys if you take advantage right now of that deal and now let's keep going with the tutorial now we're gonna find optima here in our recent download history and let's go ahead and drag and drop it into our desktop you could also find it within your downloads folder in your computer now the way that i'm going to test optifying in my case is by installing shaders if you want to follow along let's go ahead and download some shaders because obviously what's optifying without shaders everybody loves optifines just because it makes you game faster and also because you could play with shaders so we're going to test it out by installing complementary bound shaders now however if you have any other shaders that's up to you in this case we're going to use complementary shaders now if you don't want to download any shaders you can just skip this step just go forward around 30 seconds but if you want to follow the same steps as me just click on the third link in the description go down to step one and click download that is going to redirect you over here where we're going to download the one 1.21.3 version or the most recent one in this case for the shaders which is 1.21.1 all we have to do is hit these three dots in here hit download file and wait five seconds for the file to download now once we have the shaders we're gonna go ahead and drag and drop it into our desktop and put it right next to our optifine and yeah that was around 30 seconds i said i was gonna be fast downloading the shaders anyways now we have optifine and we have shaders the next step is to install optifine and to do that you have to make sure that you have closed minecraft 1.21.3 as well as your minecraft launcher once you close the minecraft launcher on the game just don't click on optifine and the installer will open and we're gonna hit install now if your installer didn't open or you're having any issues opening this file that is because you need java 21 and no, that's not optional that is actually a requirement if you're trying to install mods in any minecraft above minecraft 1.20.5 you will see that you now need java 21 this is due to a mojang update to a minecraft microsoft whoever runs minecraft nowadays they updated it and now you need java 21 so of course of course i'm gonna leave a guide in the description on how to download and install java 21 it's probably going to be like the fourth link in the description or something like that actually the third link if i'm not mistaken no wait what it's gonna say java 21 okay it's i think it's the fourth link so go ahead and download and install java 21 all you have to do is download the java 21 file and then hit install and then hit next a couple of times and that's it you're done and then you're able to open the installer for optifine and also you're able to install any other mods or shaders or even run a server if you want to anyways once you install optifine hit ok over here and now you could even delete the installer from your desktop as you don't need it anymore now we have shaders in our desktop and we have optifine installed let's go ahead and test it all out first launch your minecraft launcher now once the minecraft launcher opens if we install optifine properly we should see selected here automatically as you can see here that's my case go ahead and open optifine hit play hit that you understand the risk if you don't know what you're understanding just read over here about it it's pretty much that you're about to play modern minecraft and then hit play again and let's wait for optifine to open now minecraft has opened and we know that we're in optifine because it says modded down here but we're gonna go ahead and test that out let's go ahead and launch a world it could be a single player or a multiplayer server of course because optifying is a client-side mod it means that it works on your side of the game you don't need to add this into a server for it to work so now that we're here let's go ahead and test the shaders to do so just press escape head over to options video settings and then shaders and in here you will see all the shaders that you have in your computer but if you don't have any you can just click on shaders folder and then add those shaders that we downloaded earlier you don't have to unzip it leave it as a zip file that's totally fine you're gonna add it here to our shader packs folder close out from this 
this folder, head back into the game, and now you should see your shaders appear right here in the shaders menu. Go ahead and click on it and give it a couple seconds. Sometimes it might even take more than a second, like a minute or so. It all depends on your computer. So let's go ahead and wait. And there we go. We have the shaders loaded. Now just hit done over here. Hit done one more time. Done over here and then back to game. And as you can see, we're playing with shaders and also we're playing with Optifine because if I press C on my keyboard, we could zoom in, of course. And as you can see, these shaders are a little bit glitch right now. Optifine is still on the previous stage as well as these shaders are for an older version. So that might happen with some of the shaders that you use. Anyways, that is how to install Optifine for Minecraft 1.21.3. If this video helped you, don't forget to subscribe. And as always, bye bye.